Installing a sound card is pretty straightforward and doesn't take too much time. Replacing your old one or adding a new one can add great benefits to your PC. Notably, the quality of sound you will get compared to the sound card built into most motherboards. You can see the sockets for these on the side of the motherboard here. For the purpose of this video, we will show you how to install a PCI card. Now, the PCI card is found in the motherboard of your PC inside the case. To take this off, you will need a screwdriver. Now, make sure your PC is unplugged and also turned off. Take the screws off. Make sure you keep those for later. Now the PCI slot is found just under here, this white one here. For the purpose of this video, we'll be using this motherboard to show you exactly how to do it. Now grab your sound card and place it firmly into a spare PCI slot. Screw it in to ensure it stays there. Place the lid back on the case and then turn on your PC. Restart your computer and press the key to access a setup page, in this case F2. Press the right arrow key to move to advance and then the down arrow once to peripheral configuration. Press enter. Press the arrow down to move to audio and press enter again and the two options will appear. Press the up arrow to move to the selection to disable and press enter. Press F10 to save the change and exit the settings page. Press Y to confirm the changes and the computer will restart. The audio has been disabled. When Windows starts, the found new hardware wizard will appear asking to check the internet for drivers for the sound card. Driver installation is handled by the Sound Blaster software, so click on cancel. You may need to do this more than once because Windows may see the card as more than one device. Once the wizard has been cancelled and not reappeared, start the installation program. It should be on the disk supplied with the card, but we have downloaded it from the internet on this computer and it's here on the desktop. Double click on it to start the installation. The program will prepare the installation files. This may take a little while depending on your computer. The installer will double check that you don't have any other software running and the computer must be restarted at the end of the wizard, so take a moment to close all other programs now. Click on OK. The license for using this software is displayed. Read it if you want. Click on Yes and then the README file will be displayed. It's always a good idea to read these as they contain useful information that may not have made it into the manual. Once you've finished reading it, click on Next. A warning will appear saying that the drivers have not passed Windows drivers testing. We can trust Creative to have made the drivers that work, so click on Continue anyway. You might need to do this more than once.